in the Lloyd Noble Center. Fans witnessed one of the top single game performances of the season. In a 45-point decision over Sam Houston, Tony Martin registered 40 points and 17 rebounds, becoming just the fourth OU player to ever score 40 or more points in a game. Winning their 21st consecutive game at home, the Sooners proved that they were deep and dangerous. Yo, Holmes. Yo, Holmes. Yo, Holmes. Top dog, Cole, kicking it in the place to be with Andre, the creator, Wally. This boy be housing with his high-flying, death-defying, 360-degree slam dunk. As a Sooner fan, there's a few things you can and can't do. Can? Can't. Can? Can't. Am I making myself perfectly clear? Let me repeat myself. Can? Can't. 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 No! Leave it to the creator for later. Top dog, I'm out of here. Oh! With most of the country watching, Andre Wiley came off the bench to lead Oklahoma to a 94-86 victory over UNC Charlotte. Wiley recorded a career-high 29 points, but the Sooners also welcomed back center Stacy King. Oklahoma opened defense of its Big 8 crown at Nebraska. Great plays by the Cornhuskers early, had the Sooners down by 10, but OU rallied back and took a 43-42 halftime lead. And we made, we kept our poise and composure, we came back. Now, take them out of the game, just play good, solid defense, run your stuff. Hey, be strong with the ball. Be strong with the ball. And strong they were as the Sooner pressure defense forced 28 turnovers and King collected 21 points and 15 rebounds in just his second game back. However, on this night, the driving force was Terrence Mullins, who logged a career-high 27 points while playing the entire game. OU was 13-1 overall and winner of 11 straight. suffering just their second loss of the season at Pittsburgh, it was time for a rare home appearance and revenge. In their first meeting since playing for the national championship, Oklahoma and Kansas picked up right where they left off in April. Running from the opening tip, the Sooners raced out to a 60-54 halftime advantage before the fourth largest crowd in Lloyd Noble Center history. Jayhawk coach Roy Williams could only applaud the Oklahoma team effort on this night as the Sooners breezed to a 123-95 victory. Eight Sooners logged double figures, and the 123 points were the most ever recorded on a Kansas basketball team. While King led all rebounders with 10, Blaylock handed out terrific assists, collected five steals and scored 30 points, making him the 23rd Sooner and eighth guard to reach the 1,000-point plateau at Oklahoma. Keeping pace with his previous two games, Blaylock scored 23 of his career-high 38 points in the first half, while OU was forced into overtime by Iowa State. Down by seven at intermission, the Sooners took the ball inside, regained the lead, and won the game down the stretch. In picking up their 11th 100-point game of the season, OU received outstanding performances from Skeeter Henry, Mike Bell, Tony Martin, as well as King. 
As for Blaylock, he became only the second player in league history to ever score 30 or more points in three straight games. Outscoring the Cyclones 11-2 in the extra period, OU picked up its sixth win in Ames in the last 10 tries. The Sooners returned home to host Colorado, a team that has dropped 40 straight Big 8 road games. It didn't take long for this one to get out of hand as OU forced 29 turnovers in a 36-point decision. Oklahoma moved to 4-0 in the conference and looked ready to begin its toughest road stand of the season, playing at UNLV, Kansas State, and Oklahoma State. Over 19,000 fans crammed into the Thomas and Mack Center to see the second meeting of the season between OU and UNLV. King, who scored 17 of OU's first 25 points, and Blaylock allowed the Sooners to hold the lead throughout the opening half. Already ahead by one with time running out, William Davis looked to add a little padding to that lead. It's the base drive. Five seconds, four seconds, two seconds from the corner to shoot. William Davis, he had a game and a Christmas. William Davis. The running Rebels fought back in the second half by hitting seven three-pointers and held the lead until Tyrone Jones took a pass from Skeeter Henry for the layup and the foul. With a final bucket from King, the Sooners' lead was two with 10 seconds left. Three seconds and a field by Blaylock. Sooners win it. Blaylock stole it. Anderson hot pass. Oklahoma wins it. Oklahoma made its first appearance as the nation's top team against Kansas State in their new Bramlage Coliseum. As usual, the Sooners used defensive gems to spark their fast break, while the K-State defense played tough and allowed OU to get everyone into the action. Despite 49 total fouls called on both squads and 32 free throws made by the Wildcats, the Sooners prevailed 90-82 to behind another solid night by King. Holding K-State to just 50 points from the field overall, OU also got 21 points from Mullins, who connected on six of eight three-pointers. Even though Tony Martin scored 22 points, OU suffered a heartbreaking loss at Oklahoma State, and for the first time in two weeks, returned to Norman for the biggest homestand of the season.